What is up, people? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's Beer Monster O'Clock. And um, today I'm going to be reviewing a new beer by Brewdog. Well, it's new to me because it's the first time I've ever seen it anyway. Don't know if anyone else has reviewed it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Brewdog's Sure Leave Amber Owl. So it's nice to see Brewdog sort of doing a uh, an owl for a change. Um, they tend to do more sort of craft beer and all that sort of thing, don't they? So yeah, it's nice to see them do a real owl. Quite like the look of this bottle. Just looks like quite decent. I like, think this would be a good one from Brewdog. Uh, this is an Amber Owl. It's 4.3% ABV, 500 ml bottle I've got. Uh, it is available in cans as well. Uh, but I just wanted the one in case it's a load of old shite, you know. Um, yeah, I picked it up from Morrison's for two pounds and 25 pennies, which is quite expensive, but it is also in the four for three deal. So if you're picking up four beers, it's a little bit cheaper, you know? So I went ahead and did that because there was a couple of other ones in Morrison's that I ain't done as well, which will be sort of coming up within the next few days or weeks or whatever I can be bothered to do. And, well, let's crack her open and see what she's all about. Yeah. Let me know if you've tried this new beer by Brewdog and what you think of it, guys. Uh, yeah, my thoughts on Brewdog, uh, to me, they're just another brewery. I don't really sort of, you know, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. Same as any other brewery, really. Um, I get some beers from Brewdog that I like. I get some that I don't like. Um, lately, probably more that I don't like, but... Yeah, I'm not a massive craft beer drinker, so... For me... It's nice to see him do a real well. Let's look at the beer in the glass. Got a decent sized head on this one, kind of like a nice white head, amber in colour, high levels of carbonation, perhaps a little bit over carbonated for a real owl. They do tend to be like that out of the bottle though, um, which is why obviously it's probably tastes completely different and probably better on tap. If it's available on tap, I'm not sure. Let me know if you've seen this on tap anywhere, guys. Uh, yeah, it looks all right. A little bit overcarbonated for me though, probably. But let's get me nose in there and check out the arena. This new Brewdog beer, Shaw Leave. Yeah, it's, it, it, it smells like a real well, but you can tell it's got that kind of Brewdog sort of touch to it, you know what I mean? That kind of um, crafty sort of touch. Got a nice grapefruit aroma for me. I'm getting a nice grapefruit. Like a nice juicy pink grapefruit. Uh, I like grapefruit in my beer, so it's quite quite nice. Uh, malty as well. A biscuity sort of malt. But the main standout thing on the aroma for me is definitely the grapefruit. I'd like, say so that pink grapefruit. It smells nice and juicy. Uh, Let's chuck it down the neck and uh, see what it's all about. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. I actually don't mind that. I think it's all right. It's a uh, first impressions. I mean, it's not set in the world of that. It's not really um amazing on i think but yeah it's 4.3 abv i think this is quite a good session uh amber ale you know, it's, it's not massively flavor flavorsome you know when you're drinking it on a session you don't want anything too leery and in your face do you so i think this would be good for you uh owl session is out there but again like i say it's nothing uh amazing but i, I think it's all right it's first sort of five hours to describe it in one word It'd probably be inoffensive. So I don't think it's going to upset too many people. Uh, let's go again. You know, comparing it to things like Doombar and stuff like that, I'd rather drink this. But just as I've sort of gone in for that second sip, I'm, to get, I'm getting a bit of a watery vibe to it now. Quite a watery beer. Um... I'm getting that pink grapefruit that I had in the aroma. And that for me is by far the best thing about this beer. It sort of lingers in the background. Not really lingers, sorry, but it's sort of present throughout the whole taste in the background. That sort of pink 
grapefruit, but it's a little bit watery. It's a little bit, you know, it could do with a bit more flavour, but you know, it's a session sort of beer, clearly, in it. So I suppose you can't go in it too balls deep for that. You've got some malts at the front. Very slight though, very slight. Um, like a caramel biscuity sort of malts for me. Yeah. Slightly hoppy on the finish. There's a bitterness, but it's a bit of a boring bitterness. It's, it's there. It does balance the sort of sweetness from them caramel malts, but it's just sort of a kind of abrupt finish to this one. You just sort of get that slight bit in this that sorts out the sweetness, and then it just goes dead. There's no sort of lingeringness to it. There's no like nice lingering bitterness in the mouth that makes you want to go in there again. I think they've played it very safe with this beer, which in some ways is good because a lot of people like a safe beer, don't they? Like a lot of people drink Doom Bar on tap and that, don't they? That's very popular for the same reason. It's a safe beer, isn't it? It's not particularly nice. Um, but most people are not going to say it's horrible because it's a bit safe, isn't it? It's a bit boring, perhaps. Um, but out of a bottle, this tastes better than Doombar does for me. And I think Doombar is absolutely, well, it's not good out of a bottle at all. This is better than Doombar out of a bottle. Not really saying much, though. Um, really, is it? It's almost like a slightly crafty version of a like a, a sessionable Doombar sort of thing, you know? Got that brew dog element you could tell they just couldn't resist but to, instead of just making a real ale they had to put that little brew dog touch of craft beeriness in there and for me it's that pink grapefruit um was doing that it's quite refreshing i think that's because it's so watery it's making it quite refreshing it's very easy drinking um yeah it's a safe beer perhaps if you're not really sure what to order or you're not sure what to buy i don't think there'll be many people that go try this and go oh that's going down the sink do you know what i mean but i don't think there's going to be too many, many people that at the same time drink this and go that's my new go-to beer it's just a sort of a an okay owl you know that you choose over the really bad ones uh it's sort of middle of the range sort of thing for me um, so I do like the crafty touch on it. It's all just a little bit too watery though, score-wise. Uh, so I do like that grapefruit. That's, it needs to be stronger, same as the bitterness and the malts. It all just needs up in a level. But then it's only 4.3%. Score-wise. Do I give it a seven and say it's bang average? Yeah, I think for me, when I give Sank a seven, that's bang average, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna say this is bang average, but it's still better than some uh, offerings out there. From uh, a real well out of a bottle perspective, it's not too bad. And if it tastes better on pump, like most owls do, it might be even better. I don't know if you tried it on tap, guys. I'd say, is it better? And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Seven out of ten for me. And uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this review, guys. And I uh, appreciate you all tuning in. Until the next one, guys. Bye bye, darlings.